Hi, this is lesson number 24 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create text effect on the water. So it gives impression that the text is floating over the surface of the water. In my screen, you can see this image with the text. This type of effect is very easy to create in Photoshop. All what you need, an image with the water streaks, the way I have here, we need to type the text and then using displays filter, we can achieve this result and here I have image I am going to demonstrate how to do that in order to use the displace filter we need to save the same image as a PSD the one we are going to use for the background and once we will apply displace filter we will locate that PSD under displace filter here you can see this is a JPEG document the first thing I am going to save it as a PSD so I will click on file save as I will save here on the desktop in the new folder this is the file name and choose the file type PSD and click on save the next step is to type the text in our toolbox here we have text tool click on the text tool horizontal type tool and then click we can increase the font size I can type our channel name For this type of effect, try to use some thick and bold font so the effect will be visible. We can increase the size, just transform this way, hit enter. If we want, we can make it bold, highlight the text and here we can apply bold, even we can take the black. So here we have text, click on move tool. The effect we can apply directly this way, but to make it a little bit more realistic, we can distort this text. Directly if I will click on edit, transform, here you can see distort and perspective it is disabled. It is not applicable for the text. So if I will right click and click on rasterize type, now if we will see the distort and perspective is active. But there is a disadvantage of rasterizing layer. The first thing we lost the text property. Now we cannot change the font size, font style, and also we cannot change the filter values dynamically. By default, text is a vector, and once you will rasterize the layer, it will become pixel object. Now we cannot see any more letter T here. This is indicating that this is not a text. So it is not really good idea to rasterize the layer. We will go back, control Z, undo, leave the text as it is. We will convert text to smart object. Right click in this area and click on convert to smart object. Once the text is converted to smart object, we can edit the text and also we can change the filter value dynamically. If we want to edit the text, simply we need to double click we will be directed to another document this is smart object and you can see the text layer this t is indicating that this is the default text layer and now we can click on the text tool and if we want we can edit this way all what we have to do we need to save it click on file and click save and just close this psb file photoshop is using this for smart object the additional n is gone since our text we converted into smart object we have also perspective and distort control using move tool select the text click on edit transform and here you can see distort and perspective that is active click on perspective and just from upper corner move it inside this way hit enter edit transform if we want we can distort also that is fine hit enter the text layer is selected go to filter distort and here we have displays displace dialog box is open and here you need to give the value for horizontal and vertical scale this value you will increase or reduce depending on your image size in my case 10 is okay stretch to fit repeat edge pixel 
and then click OK. Once I will click OK, Photoshop will ask me to locate the displays map. So our displays map is here. This is the image we save. It is the same background. Click on this PSD and then click open. You can see the effect it is applied. Since we apply filter on small object, so anytime we want we can change the filter value. Here we have displays filter. I can double click and if I want I can change it to 15. Then click OK. Once again same displacement map. Now our text is having ripple. You can see the streaks from the water. It's appear in our text. To make it a little bit more realistic, we can use blend if. Since we are using white color, even I will apply overlay, you can see the color variation is changed. So instead of using blend mode, we will use blend if. To do that, double click in this area and the layer. You don't need to do anything here. At the bottom, we have blend if. In blend if, underlying layer, we have slider from the bright side and from dark. To reveal the bright part of the background in our text, move the slider back from the bright side. And now you can see the water streaks, the bright part of the image appear in our text. To reveal the dark area, we will move the slider from this side. To make smooth transition, we can split this slider by pressing Alt key just like this and then click OK. That's all. You have also option if you want you can reduce the opacity. This is how we achieve this beautiful and realistic result on our text using displays filter. Let's recap the things. The first thing is you need to search the image. Just type in Google water scene, sea or water and you will get a lot of images. Choose one of them for your practice, open in Photoshop and the first thing you need to do is to save it as a PSD on your desktop or anywhere in your computer you want. After that, type text and make sure that you choose some bold font. Convert your text to smart object, apply perspective and distort, then use displays filter. Under displays filter, locate your displacement map and then use blend if to make it a little bit more realistic. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.